Hi everyone, it's Anna Haferman. Today I'm doing a Christmas stocking using the Just Yarn from the Dollar Tree. So I haven't measured these yet, but they're pretty good size. It's three skeins of yarn long, basically. <laughs> to start, we're gonna make sure our carriage is set on normal. So on the LK150, it's on the triangle and the two, triangle and two on both sides. If you're doing yours on the KX350, it's pretty much the same thing. This is a KX350 carriage. You're gonna be on N and N, N and N. It's the same thing. And we're gonna start with waist yarn. So we're gonna pull out needles from 27 to 27. And then we're gonna push every other one back to do our uh, waste yarn, well, to do our cast on for our waste yarn. So the blue is going to be my waste yarn and I'm gonna thread the carriage. I'm gonna be on tension one to do my first row and knit across. Pulled up a little too much. And then um, put, put on your comb Try to center it as best you can and hang it and then put some weights on it. And this is, the blue is the waste yarn. This is just to establish the knitting. And we will be, um, we'll be hanging the hem with the white yarn from the blue yarn. And so, that makes a good contrast to the white. So now for our um, second row, we're gonna go up to tension five. So knit. Now we'll knit about eight rows of waist yarn. And then we'll cut the waist yarn Put a clip on the end and get rid of the waste yarn because we don't need it. We won't need it for now. We'll need it again in the future. So put it off to the side somewhere. So now we'll thread the white yarn and leave a long tail about a yard So because we'll seam up with that at the end. So leave your long tail and now set your carriage to zero. And what we're doing now is the, um, we're starting here, going up, we'll do the Pico row, then we'll hang the hem. So we're gonna do 24 rows, then do the transfers. So this hem is 24 rows deep. So that's one. Three, twenty-four. Now I've got twenty-four rows of white. I'm actually going to put some edge claws on there to hold it down. And now what I'm going to do is transfer for the pico. It's a row of eyelets, so when it folds, it looks like that. So the way to do that is take the one-one tool or one-three tool. It your one-eyed tool and start transferring every needle across to its neighbor. So pull out, and we did this on several of the projects, including the hat. Um, so we're just transferring. So we have two stitches here, zero to no stitches. So every other needle transferred to its neighbor. And one more. So now we've got everything transferred. So we've got two stitches, zero stitches, two stitches, zero stitches. Then we're going to pull all those needles that we transferred off of back. And make sure you get that one, that first one, because you may forget it. And just get them all in a row and pull, start, and do 24 more rows. Do 
48. So now we've done 48 rows. Uh, so we've got 24 and 24. Now we're going to hang the hem. So we need to take all the weights off, otherwise they will get in our way. So we'll take off our comb. So now uh, we've done this and we're going to hang the hem. And I realized I was showing you my first test stocking before uh, where I had done two white rows here, but I'm actually gonna go right into the red. So this is actually a different sock in case anyone noticed. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the white yarn right about there. And then we will park it here. Now we're gonna use the white yarn throughout and we're gonna switch back between red and green, but I'm actually getting ahead of myself. So I want to hang the hem now. So the first thing I'll do is, uh, I'm gonna grab this little stitch here, which is going to be difficult, but I'm going to grab it and hang it on the first needle. Now, in the past, I have said that, that you didn't need to hang that one, but I find it sews up better if you do it. It makes a better um, edge. So then I'm just going to grab uh, these white bars, three at a time, and hang them on the stitches. Now you can go one at a time if it's easier for you. And hang those all on the needles. And I'll come back when I'm closer to the edge. So I have shown this before in the hat video, the first hat video I did, and maybe a couple of the others, but basically what we're doing, we're hanging the white yarn to the white to the needles uh, the blue is just waste yarn that's going to go off on the end so it's what the stitch we're looking for is the white u-shaped stitch and you can see it's kind of a u uh, and then we're picking them up and just hanging them on the needle so pick up three and go like that you can pick up one and do it that way, but it goes a lot faster to do three. I've got all of my uh, needles hung, all my stitches hung, and then I want to put some weights on this. This row, I'm going to pull out all the stitches to D, all the needles to D. And now I'm going to thread my uh, red yarn because we're going to go directly from the white so we've hung the hem here and then we're going to do a row of red so the first uh, first thing we do is we want to weave in as many tails as we can so that little end of white that we just cut off we're going to weave in so we'll go across uh, over that first needle under over under over, under, over, and about eight needles in. We just weave it in like that. And then what it'll do is it'll, it'll knit it in and then it won't really knit it in. It kind of weaves it in on the back of the needle. And then we can cut it off when we're done. So then I'll take, uh, I'm gonna reset my row counter to zero and do six rows of red. So we're still at tension five, still have the carriage set exactly how we had it. So do six rows of red. So there's our first row of red. And you see it wove in the white yarn. And at the when we're done, we'll just cut those off and they'll, you know, they'll disappear. So, um, but we'll do that all We'll do all the cutting at the end. So now that we've done our first row of red, we also want to weave in our red tails. So, uh, and you always want to weave in a color on um, the color you just knit. You, you want to weave, so you want to weave red onto red and white onto white, et cetera, et cetera. So pull out your first, say, eight or so needles. And then, um, you can kind of, if you just, I just wove in the white and I started over under. So I'm going to do under over with the red. 
so I don't have so much bulk at the end. And so that'll be our red, and I like to end with it kind of between two needles there. So that'll weave in the red. So that was row one. Two, and see how it wove that red one in, and then we'll cut that off at the end. Three. Six. Okay, so that's our first set of six. Um, that's our first stripe. So we cut the red, and we're going to take the red out because we'll we'll be doing we'll be doing white next then green I'm sorry we'll be doing white next then green then white then red so it's and the sequence was six red two white six green two white six red got the white threaded or a threading the white right now and now I want to weave in the red tail so two four six eight now if you don't want to weave these in you don't have to but trust me you're going to end up with a lot of tails at the end and you're not going to be happy having to deal with them so or I wasn't you might like it I don't know so I've woven in the red and then I'll do two rows of white but first so I'll do one row of white and then weave in the white. And I think I went over under, so I'm going to do under over. Just try to alternate those. That's probably enough. And then do the white, your second row of white. So now we've got tails, so these tails are all going to be, well, first of all, the waist yarn will be gone, but then the tails we will cut off at the end. So I've done two rows of white, cut, park that up there. Um, now we're going with the six rows of green, so we'll have to thread our green. So I've got the green threaded. So first I want to weave in the white tails. Okay, and do six rows of green. And that got a little too close for me. So I've got my first row of green and now I'm gonna weave that in by going over and under or under and over as the case may be and just doesn't really matter how many you do you kind of want to alternate it a little so it, uh, you don't end up with kind of a ridge but it doesn't really matter so that was my first row of green the green and you can put the green to the side and get your red in place because you'll be going with red next um, weave in the green tails and then go with your white And now um, we'll do two rows of white again. So there we go. And now we'll do our white, uh, weave in our white. So go, I guess, oh, under, over, under, over, under. Okay. And so now we've completed our first sequence of um, our first sequence. So we've got six red, 
two white, six green, two white. And then we're just gonna do it again four times and then we'll start on this row. Then we get to this row and do the heel. So now I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of green and red seven, uh, sections. So I'm on row count 64 because each one was eight, one, two, if you count from the bottom or looking at this sock, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus two, uh, eight of those. So six plus two is eight times eight is 64. So that's what you should be on. Uh, we're going to do three rows of red because what happens is we, um, we will do the three rows. We're actually coming this way. We'll do three rows and then we'll stop and do the heel on one side and then do three more rows. So we'll do three rows. So we go one, and then again, we still weave in our red tails, if we can, which we can, and two, Three. Now your carriage is going to be on the left, um, and then we're going to do the heel on the right, and the heel is going to be done with white. So your carriage should be on the left, and you want to unthread the red yarn and park it on the left on your uh, on the side of your machine. Or um, I can't really get that on camera, but it's parked over there and it's not threaded. Now take the carriage and just move it to the other side. That's going to be the easiest thing because we're going to do the, the heel over on this side. Um, we're going to set the carriage for hold for the heel. On the LK150, hold is one. So we're going to push that lever to one. This one's still on triangle. And we're going to push this lever to one. And this one's still on the triangle and put it on the right. If you're using the KX350, uh, your carriage should be on H and H. So both these levers go back, these stay on N. It's the same exact thing. Both All levers are facing towards the back on either carriage. What we're going to do is take, we're gonna work the um, heel on the needles to the right of zero. So we're gonna take all the needles to the left of zero. So that's one through 27 on the left, and we're gonna put those into hold. So pull them all the way out. Then we're gonna thread with the white yarn. This time I'm gonna clip it down to make sure I um, get it correctly. And then we're gonna start our heel. I'm going to knit across one row with the white. And then I'm gonna put that first needle into hold. Then I'm going to weave in my tails. And now this time, because I've got the carriage in hold, I can't pull them all the way out. So I'm gonna start with the second needle. I'm just pulling them out to upper working position. so that they're um so that it's woven in but they will knit because i want them to knit and not hold so if you can wrap them that way it's a little harder than pulling them all the way out so i'm going to knit a row across so that's row two this will be row two and put that needle into hold and then do that again and each time i'm putting a needle into hold after I knit it. And that's kind of automatic wrapping it. So I'm going to keep doing that each time I, I'll knit across, pull a needle out, so knit across, Pull that last needle that knit out to hold, knit across again, pull the last one that knit out to hold. I want to keep a lot of weight on that because it's what you're doing 
is knitting a heel so it's getting less and less but it's kind of buckling out so you really need to uh, keep weight on it otherwise it'll jump off the needles So now what we want to do is uh, have the same number, we're going to divide this into thirds, so when we have nine in the middle, nine on each side and nine in the middle, we'll start increasing. So what we're doing now is short row decreasing. And this weight's going to get a little too big probably, so I'm going to kind of keep, keep going. Really want to make sure I've weight on it. And it really wants to jump up because this is kind of thick yarn for this machine. It works, but you really just need to. Okay, so that's number nine there, and we've got eight there. So we're, excuse, I'm going to go across one more, pull this one out. Now we've got nine here nine here and nine on this side of zero so then we're going to start increasing so we'll go we'll just pull that first needle farthest from the carriage to upper working position position c and knit and then we'll pull that one and now we're increasing the amount of stitches we're doing each time we still want to make sure we have weight on it And a lot of times when I do this, I'm holding it down with my hands. I'm trying to keep my hands out from the camera. And so we're just putting another one in work each time uh, opposite the carriage. So... So we've got five here and five to the left, right of zero on this side. You should always, uh, when your carriage is on the left, you're going to have four here and five here. And when it's on the right, you should have an equal amount. So just keep, keep that in mind. And just take your time doing it. It can be confusing, but if you really pay attention and uh, try not to get lost, it works. Sometimes if you get distracted, it's hard to pick up where you were. But so let's see. Okay. So now when you've got one on each side, I'm going to put uh, that one into work, knit across, and this time I am going to wrap around here to kind of try to avoid a hole, and then I'm going to put that one into work, and there is our heel. So that's ready to go. So now we're going to do, um, we'll take the carriage off. Well, actually, first thing we'll do is clip the white yarn because we're still, in our sequence, we're still on red because we only did the three rows of red. So um, the red yarn is on the left. I'm going to move the carriage over and re-thread the red yarn. And just make sure it's free-flowing free and your tension is nice for your next pass. You don't want to... When you mess with it, it's that's when you make mistakes. So, 
I want to weave in this sock, he, the sock, um, the white yarn for the sock. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually go like that. Uh, that should be enough. And then we did our, we're right here. We did our three rows of red. I actually kind of, well, from the inside. Well, anyway, we've done three rows of red. Now we do want to do three more rows of red. So see, that's where that, um, it separates there. So we've done three and three. So we'll do three more. Whoops. And we need to push our carriage, put the front levers forward. So your car your front levers should be on two, back levers all the way back. Okay, it's 350. Move your front levers back to N. So everything should be on N on your um, LK150. You should be on triangle, triangle, two, and two. And now we will knit three rows. One. And we want to make sure we've got weights on the edges. Make sure to weight it down. Two, three. Okay, so now we've done these. And then we're going to, we've done these three rows here. Then we're going to go back into our pattern. We're going to do two white, six green, two white, six red, two white until we get so we'll have two more green two more red and then we'll do the toe and the toe actually goes exactly how the heel went so um i will get back to you when we get to the toe so i now have my whole stocking done up to the toe so i've from my heel i've got green red green red and now i'm going to go directly so that was from the heel and then the after that green red green red and then my toe is going to go to I'm gonna go directly into the toe from the red so I'm uh, cutting my red and I can put it away now because I uh, I don't need it anymore now I'm doing the white I'm going to do the um, toe exactly like I did the heel so pushing, uh, let's see, first I clip these down, clip that down. Then I put everything on the left of zero to hold. And I put my carriage on hold, which on the LK150 is one. Um, and on the KX350 is H. Now I just noticed I had these needles out to hold because from when I wrapped them. So really all you have to do is move them back to upper working position. So, and that's position C. Okay, now you've got everybody knitted. Now, what you want to do is get your waist yarn back. And you want to cut the main yarn. Uh, leave a pretty good tail about a yard because you're going to graft the toe with the white yarn. So put a clip on your white yarn and thread your waist yarn. Um, what we're gonna do is scrap this off or knit onto waist yarn. First, this bunch of needles, and then this bunch of needles. So we'll keep those in hold because we just wanna knit on these. So we'll knit, I don't know, eight or 10 rows. One, two, three, four, five. And right here is where it's going to start bunching up. So you want to make sure you've got some weight there. Seven, eight. So those are scrapped off. Now, cut the yarn. 
And now what you want to do is uh, put these needles back into work. Well, yeah, put these back into work, but go to upper working position so they don't fall off the... Uh, if you went all the way back to position B, they would all fall off the needles. And then take the these and bring those out to hold. So now re-thread the yarn. And you can keep your carriage on the same side as long as you hold it. So go... There we go, and now we're, now we're uh, knitting these off separately from these. So, um, one, two, three. And that's your waste yarn. So now what you can do is just put your carriage back to uh, normal. Take all your weights off first, especially these really heavy ones because they're gonna fall on your feet and you're not gonna be happy. And now um, just hold on to this and knit it off. And there, there it is. So there's the heel. There's the top. There's the waist yarn. These are all the things we wove in that we don't have, that all we have to do is come across and carefully clip off so we're not cutting any of our regular yarn. And then we've got our tails woven in. So we'll just do that, but be careful. Um, before you do all that, um, this one needs to be saved. That one, the one that you're going to sew up with, you don't want to uh, get rid of that one. And the one, so there's two very long tails that you want to um, save. So don't clip your waist yarn yet. I mean, don't clip your tails yet because you wanna make sure to keep the ones you need. So here, to get the waist yarn off of the bottom, we can do this. So we'll go to this last stitch on the left and being very careful to only cut that blue yarn. We're gonna cut, don't cut any other color of yarn except the blue. And then you can go to this side and pull And that will come off. So there's your um, there's your hung hem. Now you want to leave these on here because now what we're going to do is graft this toe together. Um, so what we uh, will do is so using this long white tail we're going to graft across. So what we're going to do is pick up stitches from here and graft them to the red ones over here. We're going to graft the white to the red. And I showed how to graft in a different video. I don't think I'm going to go into the with on this one because it's going to be um, it's going to end up being very long and then we'll mattress stitch up the side being careful to match the um, stripes so they look seam look seamless. Now that I've got my sock sewn together, my stocking sewn together, I'm gonna do um, some a an I cord for the loop um, to hang it. An I cord is it's a round cord, um, and so we'll start it like this. I'm gonna leave actually kind of a long tail because I'm going to sew it in using a tail. And then I want to do, let's see, first of all, I want to set my carriage um, to basically, I'm going to go down to tension two. I'm going to set this 
uh, lever to the circle, which is part. And um, on the KX350, uh, that's this lever is going to go to P or part. So um, then I'm going to take one needle and E wrap it. So, and then I will pull out the next needle, knit across. And I'm going to hold that down and then I'm going to pull out that needle on the other side, knit across and it doesn't knit, but I just want it to, um, to establish it. And then I'm just going to keep going. So what I'm doing is going, I'm pulling on the end kind of, so it will knit off, which can be a little rough for the first one. So that's what it did. And then I'm going to go back and the carriage slips that way. It doesn't knit anything. So then we'll knit that way, which it did. And I'm kind of pulling that down to tension it. And it slips that way. Knit. It's slipping. So what it does when it, because there's only three stitches on it, it's going to look like a round tube when we're done. So we'll just keep going. And you're just holding that down. If you want, you can put a weight on it. And um, basically, I want to... So make this as long as you want yours. Um, I basically did... I, I didn't count how many I did here, but it's about... Seems about 42. Um, so then, uh, and remember, like if you're looking at the length, remember when you hang it, and especially if you put a lot of goodies in it, it's gonna stretch out some. So um, what I'm gonna do now is transfer that one to that one. Knit another. If it doesn't knit off, you need to help it. Transfer that one to that one. And now I'm gonna, just going to pull it through by hand because... And then take it off and make sure you get a long tail on this end too. So you're just pulling it through the thing, the loop, and cutting it now so that way you're going to end up with this thing that's kind of tapered on each end with long uh, tails and because then what I will do is what I did was I threaded I stowed the two tails into there and then kind of wrapped it a couple times so it would look nice <laughs> 